Good evening, Twitch. How you guys doing? It's Tuesday night. So it's a great day, a good start to your week. And I gotta say, <laughs> I'm honestly interested in playing a little bit of F Zero. I've been watching Tom Fox stream uh, just before uh, I started here, and I've just been enjoying just how I just remember how good that and how a hey, also difficult uh, how difficult that game actually was. But tonight, though, we're gonna play more Final Fantasy 15. We are not. We're in Niflheim territory, effectively. But, we can actually finally go see Luna Freya and see what's going down here. Plus, I also find out what they're gonna do with the Leviathan. So, I don't want to take too much time here. Like I said, I want to focus now more on the story, now more than ever. But because we can, and let's just jump into things here. The sooner I load the game, the sooner I can explain what's been going on here, because, well, there's... There's a few things I'm a little shocked at what happened. The first... Well... The first actually being something I'm a little surprised... ...to say. We're broke. We, we are broke, ladies and gentlemen. We are actually out of money. I can't believe I'm actually saying that, but it's true. We have no money. Now, we could get money. We could sell money. Or we could sell items for money. But... After doing that little dungeon excursion, and we did get actually a pretty good item. I should probably actually equip that again. Let me just make sure actually it's the right one here. That's the strength one. That's our defense one. So I'm going to actually change this. Yeah, so we got a few items here. We bought the Oracle card. We've also bought the, uh, midi the Knight's Anklet. But we also got the uh, Auto Charger here. And what this basically does, it produces a Warp Decoy, which is really cool. But at the same time, though, it will also cause us to uh, switch arms. So basically, every single weapon I have, so the Blood Sword, the Rapier Lance, the Mithril Knives, all of them. So give me kind of a, a pseudo artifice, uh, not uh, armager, armager. That's the term they used. Uh, like a pseudo armager uh, attack. So the more I attack, the more I'll be switching, which is why currently I'm having these Mithril Knives here, just as I stand. Actually, I could switch up to Iron Assassin's Daggers, since I upgraded, uh, I upgraded, uh, Ignis's weapons here. And I'll switch just to having one magic spell. Probably actually should do something else here. We'll put Blizzard here. Probably should. Okay, I have dual cast. Bl oh, I actually have a couple Blizzards. Let's just use that one Blizzard there for now. But the other thing I need to actually show off, actually it had to do with gear. Gladios, that impulse. I know there's only two levels, but man, that takes forever to build up. Overwhelm is not fully mastered. It's actually very close to mastered. And uh, finally, Starshell, which is really good at taking out, uh, at least weakening the demons is actually maxed out which means I can give him a new ability I can actually give him either one or two things I can give him gravisphere or recoil and between the two honestly draw enemies in an area to get closer with machinery creating gravitational field depletes the tech bar by two that's a pretty interesting option those recoil I think for now I think I'll just use uh I think I'll use recoil here I still am not fully certain what I should do with my AP. I now know we can actually, probably actually do quick tech. That would be a useful one. 
I'm thinking though I might want to do recovery because if that dungeon uh, was any signifier, I might want to actually start making sure my teammates here can actually heal up in some way, shape, or form. Possibly also the uh, the teamwork one. I'm also been thinking. Like I said, I still don't know which is actually best here. Part of me wants to also thinking of just getting the stats, to like increase my health, increase my spirit, my strength. Just basically create, basically make my teammates a lot stronger. I've never been good with sphere grids or any of these like talent trees things uh, when it comes to playing games. But if anyone has any recommendations, I am more than open to to listen. Speaking of suggestion stuff, as always, if you actually have an idea of something you want me to cover, please feel free to let me know. And I will be more than happy. You can actually go to the suggestion boxes. It's an extension if you scroll on down. And I'll actually take those into uh, consideration. So, we've got our teammates here. They're all equipped. Element C. I also did realize one other thing. I found out apparently you need over 300 uh, potency. If you actually reach 300 potency, which is actually very difficult to do, as you can see. It costs more each time. You can actually get up to the uh, Firaga, Blizzaga, and Thundaga. So it takes up to 200. But effectively, it will take up your entire uh, casting just to get that up there. Unless you obviously focus on the magic tree. Well, guess we need to go talk to Camellia. Yeah, like we have any other option. There's no telling how events will unfold. Let us prepare before making our way. Yeah, she can sit tight a while. Having a nice morning? So, we have enough potions, we have enough high potions, we have enough Phoenix Downs. I feel comfortable with all the other gear we have. Well, actually, no, I do not feel comfortable with how many times I got Thank turned you. into a toad. That was pretty rude, honestly. Oh, I heard there's a solid photo spot nearby. Mind if we check it out? Let's check it out. Yeah, let's go! The dock, huh? Where was that? Prompto, you're killing me, buddy. Ow! Really? Okay, well, the only thing I have to do is actually get to one of these spots here. All these places are, are to t travel to is actually free. That shouldn't be so bad. So, care to take a cruise? I do care to take a cruise. Go over here just for a second. Just to see how beautiful the city is. Before I go and screw it all up. You know what this actually sort of reminds me of? Uh... Chrono Trigger. Like when you're in that, uh... The floating islands or floating continent. Kind of get a, get a vibe from that with all the waterfalls and such. But we'll just take a quick picture here. It's a fishing spot, too. That's nice. Fantastic. Call when you need a ride back. Will do. Oh. All right. Let's go and take that picture. Take a shot from here. Good call. Now it's picture time. Strange as is, everyone needs a prompto in their life. He may possibly is my least favorite character, Ready but not. he is the one who is least is the outspoken one. There we are. We ought to hold on to this one. All right. So need to go to the summit. So actually, there's one other place we need to go. 
I want to go back and turn in uh, ah, those quests. Good. Indeed. I think for now, just for the sake of expediency, I will speed this up a little bit. Gentlemen, it has been a pleasure. I'm hungry. Apparently. I just adore this shop. This is a quest for us? Like, I wish they just gave us an option here for quests. Welcome, lads. There you go. Turn in those and get some money. Looks like that monster was no match for you, lot. Made it back in one piece, eh? Yeah, those were really difficult. Unnecessarily so. But hopefully I have enough so, gear now. What brings you here today? Be forewarned, this won't be a test of luck, but of skill. Then what can I prepare for you, lads? Ooh, such expensive food. That's ridiculous. You're always welcome. Especially for a game that seems like it has a limited amount of money. Like, it really feels like there's a limited amount of money. I'm hungry. Also, I'm not a huge fan of this whole quest thing, where it's like, I feel like I'm standing... Right on top. Like, this is what I don't like about this game. It's a very... Like, it's clear that there's somewhere I'm supposed to be able to pick up a quest. But it just doesn't specifically say where. Everyone here is so stylish. We're stuck in travel black. Why not try wearing your official Lucian battle gear with pride? You might even become a real trendsetter around here. Like, I don't know where you can... Where you're supposed to actually look for, uh... Picked up for the quest. I'm hungry. How's it going, Walnut? How's it going, Sonic Crow? How are you guys doing? Like, sorry, I'm kind of meandering here because this is the very annoying part. Oh, hello. Welcome. You won't find fresher fish anywhere else. Oof, that's... Oh my god, that is very expensive. Come again. I wouldn't be surprised it's actually on the other side of the bar. You see that fish? I wonder where you can catch it. Dunno! Why don't you ask the shop? Um, couldn't be bothered. Oh, I know what you mean. I'm awkward around people too. <laughs> yeah, right. Well, you are not you you are not said you're dead. Yeah, this is annoying. This is what I don't like about this thing. It's like, here's a quest, and it's supposed to be somewhere here, and it says it was Westcum. So, it's supposed to be him. But, where am I supposed to stand specifically to take up the quest? It really should just be, hey, let's talk, here's your quest, move on. But it's not. Like, I'm starting to notice there's more problems with the game the further I get. Well, look who it is. Like, I think that's honestly well, the big then, thing. How may I be of service? No new information. There's no new hunts. I don't know what he wants. I don't know where the game wants me to specifically stand, and that's always bothered me about this. Like with Kenny, or not Kenny, uh, Taka. Back at Hammerhead, it's the same problem. It's like, where am I supposed to stand specifically, just so I can get the quest? Because I don't need to talk to him. If I want to take up this quest, I have to stand in a very specific area. And I don't know where it's supposed to be, and it's really dumb. Like, that's the one thing that bothers me about this game. We're off to this area right here. Like, is it just me, or is that not- or is that just bad game design? Was I just standing in the wrong area? I feel like I was standing in the wrong area the entire time. Wait. An arena? Well, that sounds like fun. 
don't know, I'm just having a bit of a headache, so I'm not at 100%. Right now, let's head to that marker. How about a group photo? I know just the place, and it's close. Prompto, you're killing me here, buddy. Let's check it out. Yeah, let's go. The palace. Downstairs? Oh, no, up. I was about to say, wait a minute. So, care to take a cruise? Take a shot from here. Good call. Now it's picture time. That's the other half of it, is the interaction button is bound to jump. And that doesn't help either. Uh, let me get this shot. Right. Oh, love the lighting. Hmm. It's nice to not have to kill anything. There we are. Like, I know some games is like, you press another button and it changes from one thing to another. Like, how you actually choose to interact with that character. Let's see... Up here... Oh, hello? That's actually very useful, and I probably should avail myself of that. Let us... Make some more magic here. As I can. Just use up all my magic. Store. It gives me a lot of... I mean a lot... of magic flasks. I really do, I really should take a moment and, uh, try and find out, um... Hello? Hello? I know I didn't absorb you. Alright, that takes care of that. Is this our way up? Indeed it is. Once negotiations negotiations begin, you will be unable to return to the city. Yes. I feel, also, I feel strange, like, this is the way they resolve things. You know, I, I like that they're giving you warnings, but at the same time, man, it's kind of rough. The Accordo Protectorate. Oh, never mind. Can't even read it. I don't want to play politics. Thank you for coming. The negotiation about to begin with the first secretary, Clostra. Engage her in a manner befitting a king and strive to win her trust and cooperation. No sweat. First things first. Express gratitude, probe knowledge, pride, express gratitude. Thanks for coming to greet us in person. It's the least I could do for a king. Westcombe didn't extend me an invitation, so I decided to extend my own. Though circumstances have changed, both the king and the oracle are finally in Altitia. You said that you have Luna in your care. Demand to see Luna, show... Doesn't that pose a risk to your nation? Is the king concerned for our relations with the Empire? But it's true. The Oracle is a risk. One we are prepared to shed with. Whether we do so depends on you. Now, let me ask some questions of my own. Why does the Oracle seek to awaken the Hydrian? Be truthful, answer her vaguely. I'm gonna tell her the truth. 
She wants to forge a covenant so I can receive Leviathan's blessing. <laughs> the answer I wanted to hear. And yet, king or not, it can't be a simple affair for you to receive a god's blessing. Let me be frank. The potential chaos worries me. You know better than most what took place in Lucis with Archeon. Tell me, what happened? Be truthful, be cheeky. I'll be truthful again. I met Titan, and he gave me his power. Just like the legends, though the Empire doesn't like the way the story goes. Even as we speak, they mobilize their forces. It seems there's no avoiding chaos. It will most likely come to war. However, I don't care to host a battle on my soil. The gods and the Empire be damned. Lead to a show concern for the city, be realistic. I'll show concern for the city. It would be a disaster if a battle took place in the city. Indeed, we must be prepared to evacuate our citizens. Cut to the chase, distance yourself, agree with her. I'll agree with her. No doubt about it. We're in the midst of making plans, and it was to discuss your involvement in them that I called you here. Without further ado, let us talk terms. If you wish to hold the right, you must ensure my citizens' safety and aid in their evacuation. Free health, feign apathy, suggest further measures. It's more than that. You need to do more. That's fine, but what about damage to the city? Your concern is appreciated, but I am prepared to accept some structural damage. Keeping the citizens safe is my chief concern, and therefore yours. And that is not all. Once the rite has begun, I will not be accountable for what follows. You are on your own. Displease a confident at worried. Confidence! Always be confident. Not a problem. We know how to take care of ourselves. Thank you. I'm sorry we cannot do more. But as I'm sure you are aware, Few armies can stand against the might of the Imperial fleet. That is all for the terms. To review, you are to ensure our citizens' safety and engage the Empire. Do we have an agreement? Agree amicably, respond pompously, accept casualty. Agree amic amicably. All right. Let's fight together as allies. Allies? Such a vote of confidence. Well, you can trust us to do our part, and keep the Oracle safe. A final warning, though I doubt it'll come to it. My duty is to my citizens. Should any harm befall them, there will be a reckoning for both King and Oracle. Size of our position, remain silent, return the threat. <sighs> Hard to be a ruler. All right, you do what you must for your people. You're just like your father. Say thanks, ask for meaning. I'd like to know more, honestly. What do you mean, like my father? Sometimes I can't tell whether you're sharp or dumb. <laughs> Adam, it's time. Assign three of your own for the evacuation effort. Whom you choose is up to you. Interesting. According to our intel, the Imperial fleet will be four warships strong. Steal yourselves for a full-scale battle. I'm glad we could talk. We can each act in our own interest to our mutual benefit. <laughs> Noctis won the, the first secretary's unreserved trust. Well, four Oracle Ascension coins. I wonder what the coins are for. And there you go. That's how I pay, play politics. She's gonna backstab us, though. I have a feeling she's gonna backstab us. And also, it's already night. My I goodness. I can't promise something I can't help. Of course. You certainly opened up to them, though. What can I say? I have a soft spot for the young and tragic. They've lost Regis, 
They've lost the crystal. Was it so long ago the last oracle was taken from them? We've seen the Empire go mad these ten odd years. The Day of the Right. Is my party split up? And we're off to... where are we off to? We're off to an arena? During the rite, we must see to it. The Empire does not harass Leviathan. Gonna be tough to pull off before the King receives her power. And with three of us on evacuation detail. Indeed. The best we can realistically do is to help the Hydrian help herself. What kind of help are you talking about? Just like Titan, the Empire will seek to immobilize Leviathan. Ah, oh, with the harpoon things? If we can dislodge them from the Goddess, she will have a fighting chance. Sounds good in theory, but don't push it. It's pointless, unless you can get that blessing. Stay flexible, stay alert. Alright, will do. You know, Ignis reminds me of another character I like, and and I know it's very much like an archetype, and I guess in a lot of animes and such, it's uh, like this uh, the strategic person, like Shikamaru, for example, in Naruto. I don't know why that one comes to mind as the first if person. If comes to worse, you can threaten to throw the trident into the sea. Then they'll listen. In the meantime, it will be well guarded, better than the Oracle herself. Understood. I shall reclaim it at the altar. Remember, you'll be under Imperial Watch. Right. Think of it as a necessary <laughs> evil in order to forge the Covenant. I am in your debt. Once it's over, you may go as you please. But you do so without our protection. So be it. You'd better get going. Your public is waiting for you. Wow, that's overkill. Also, why do they have Tommy guns? I mean, I know obviously fantasy, but man, someone really liked the Tommy gun. An island nation known for its beauty of its water-bound capital, Otisha. Though annexed by the Empire in a war 150 years ago, it retains its own government. You guys too. Of course. All right, guess I'm on my own. <sighs> Talk about a crowd. Like the whole city's come to watch. Oof. My goodness. Well, I guess it's the best chance to make sure I'm prepared. Answers anklet. Maximize my defense because I've always been getting my butt whooped. Rip your lance is probably not what I actually want here. Storm lance, probably fighting. No, probably fighting uh, Leviathan here. I actually like the quick weapons. Uh, no, no, oh, I do have the rebellion actually, so at least I have that. I like the fast weapons over the slow weapons. Dear friends, I stand before you today with little hope the words I speak shall reach beyond these walls. For slowly, 
But surely, the light fades from our world, and as it does, the shadows shall loom ever longer until all succumbs to the darkness. Darkness that evokes terror, hatred, and sorrow in the hearts of men. The ashes of Lucis. A dream of peace, twisted into a nightmare of death and destruction, claiming innumerable lives and leaving myriad souls to suffer. Luna. Yet I beg you, do not surrender to despair. Have faith, for our gods watch over us. By their blessings, by the stars that light the heavens above, our world will be delivered from the perils of the dark. I stand before you here in Altitia to call upon Leviathan, goddess of the seas, spirit of the deep. By the sacred right, I will commune with the Hydrian. But first, I offer you my solemn vow. On my honor as Oracle, I will not rest until the darkness is banished from our world and the light is restored. That's how to win the hearts and minds. Bless you all. To get the people out of here. Knocked. The Empire's here. I can see him. Dropships are closing in on the board. Look for a vantage point to approach them. Okay. Look after the citizens. We got him covered. So it begins. Well, this is gonna be chaos. Covenants, rites by which the Oracle rouses the slumbering gods and entreats the Elder. of the oracle goddess of the seas i beseech you enter into this covenant that the king might reclaim the stone Strange, I was actually holding the dodge button there. Now what? That's the one downside about this thing. Yeah, switching between weapons. The 
Since they're weak against lightning. Not a fan of the snipers. I'm, I'm concerned about using this auto spear thing, or this auto weapon. Come on, you can change weapons. Well, hey, how's it going, Frozen Hunts? How are you doing? We are in the middle of something. know that the king of kings is to drive the darkness from our star <laughs> it is in receiving mercy that men offer praise and in shedding grace that the gods solicit worship. Wait, heresy? I vow, the king will prove himself worthy. That's... Yeah, uh, let me jump or jump me to a movie. Man. Ah. Ah, go. Ah. What was this? <laughs> New ride we borrowed from the Nifts. This will get us in close. Serious? Here she comes. Oh my god. I'm fairly concerned this is not an automobile. Okay. Hang ten. Request her power. I need your power. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Trial of Leviathan. Defeat Leviathan. Good to now be fighting a god. So the only way you'll help me is if I take you down. Oh dear. All right. Well. This is a very restricted battle arena, and the buildings are floating. Alright. Okay. 
Okay. I have really got to watch my magic. And the one downside about this whole thing... is fulfilled. All enthralled to darkness shall know peace. What did she do? Well, she obtained the power, he obtained the power, power of the Oracle? Don't tell me that was one of the weapons of the kings. It was. How much of a badass do you want to feel right now? On a scale of 1 to 10. I can get a better shot. This is literally a hold X to win fight, I will tell you that right now. Yeah, 
I actually, maybe I actually do need to put a little bit of effort. You cannot lose this fight at all. Why would you take such joy away from your friends? This is the over the top action here. An extremely dramatic moment. The one rages. can still lose this fight, by the way. That's surprising to hear. like you control your altitude. Alright. You'd have to try very hard to lose this fight. I mean very hard. Oh, that's how you wear a dash. Okay. Probably should have been doing that a lot sooner. And no, you're gonna swallow me, you're gonna regret that. That's a long one. Is that Titan? It is Titan.
Noctis. Luna? So, you found your way here. And you found me. A chance to see you once more. <laughs> Who would have thought? Well, what do you mean? Why wouldn't you see me? Because my prayers have been answered. My calling fulfilled. But that doesn't have to come between us. You are the one, Noctis. The stars shine for you now. That which is yours by right shall be restored to you. Do you remember the flowers of Tenebrae? It seems so long ago. You'll find they await you still, looming from hill to vale. Will you be there? Would that I could join you. But this moment will have to be enough. It's not right. All I... All I wanted was to save you. When the world falls down around you and hope is lost,